Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you what is, in my opinion, the best platform to learn electronics slash Arduino. Now it is totally free to use, you don't have any pre-knowledge to use it, and it is so simple. So to get started, go to your browser and hit tinkercad.com. It is totally on cloud, so you don't have to download anything on your computer. Now, if you have an account, you can join in if you don't which is mostly the case you will have to click uh, join now and make an account since i already have one i will just sign in that is my name and voila we are in now this uh, tinkercad was made um, uh, by autodesk so basically you can make 3d designs circuit boards code blocks and there is a bunch of lessons since we are into electronics uh, we want to hit on circuits and create new circuit. Now, the reason I put this in my Arduino tutorial is, well, obviously you can simulate Arduinos. We will get that in a moment. So let's just try to simulate the simple circuits and have a look at its behavior. So for example, let's try an LED. So if you click and drag it, uh, you can put it in and put it out. If you click on it and hit your delayed button on your keyboard you're gonna delay it now we need the battery of course we can change its orientation by clicking on this icon right here now since this is uh, the anode this is the cathode we we have to to hit positive to anode negative to cathode so if you uh, if you hover over these two pins you can have a look at uh, the 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 uh, the sign so red it is obviously here black it is of course uh, i shouldn't made it like this but hey who cares so if we hit start simulation we'll have a look at boom we have well a damaged uh, led and if we hover over it you can have a look at the uh, the uh, the the error type Current through the LEDs is 950 milliamps, while absolute maximum is well, about 20 milliamps. So if you have no knowledge about electronics, you can get started from here. So basically what, what happened is um, we are providing more current that the LED can handle. Basically we are killing it. So if we delete one connection and use resistor use a resistor and we connect it right here and right here and of course my well, my connection is well as bad as ever so if we uh, if we uh, um, if we click on it you will have the name and the resistor type so let's go to ohms where is it ohms and let's try about 500 and as you can see, when we change the resistor, the code changes too, which is pretty cool and dynamic. As you can see, the, the, the colors change. Let's start with uh, 500. And if we hit simulate, as you can see, the LED is working fine. And now we have a working circuit. Now, of course, this is just the basic components. If you hit here, you can have uh, a lot more like all components. You can have capacitors, potentiometers, and you can even find sensors. Like, look at this. If we hit start simulation, you can actually simulate the, uh, the distance. Like uh, you have like the limit uh, distance, the, 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 on the, 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 the maximum limit uh, distance and the minimum limit sensor of the sensor is also included. So yeah, just pretty damn good. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely fantastic. Okay, anyway, we are not, uh, we are not uh, uh, introduced in this. Of course, you can have even RGB, you can have uh, uh, NeoPixels, I mean, you can even have motors, uh, servo motors, buzzers. As you can see, the list is go on and on and on. You can even have an oscilloscope, GPF, multimeter. This thing is absolutely fantastic. I love this platform. Anyhow, anyhow since we are um, in Arduino circuits, we are more interested in Arduino boards, right? So if we go to starter, 
and hit Arduino. As you can see, you can even find pre-made boards. So let's try looking for Blink. This is Blink. If I, okay. Now, as you can see, it is um, connected on pin 13 to GND. Now, if you hit start simulation, you can see the LED working as it should. So it is blinking every second. Now, if you go to code, click right here, you actually have three, um, three uh, types of codes. So you have blocks, basically um, small kids can start learning Arduino from here. Like you have like um, title of blocks comments. This is, you can find comments. You can find another comment, built-in LED. The delay it is basically wait. Basically you have a lot of um, uh, easy to read comments, easy to read blocks so kids can actually enjoy them. Now, of course, you have blocks with text. This is more for a little bit of advanced users for people who can actually read and understand uh, how code is written, like the different statements. So you, here we have the code written in a wiring programming language, basically C and C++, and this is the blocks. Of course, we can only use text yeah sure and this is only the text now the cool thing about it is you can actually uh make your own program for example let's say uh, i don't want it to leak every second i want to leak uh let's say every two seconds so, and then i'm gonna hit download code wait where is it so yeah let's start start simulation and yeah it is now working every two seconds. So if you change something in this code, you can simulate it in real time. And of course you can download your code uh, in case you, you are fine with how the code is working in the simulation and you wanna uh, use it in a real life scenario. Now, I think this cover everything. Of course I could make like 10,000 millions hours of me explaining how this software is, uh, Fantastic, actually. Anyhow, so um, yeah, I hope this was not too long, and I hope you yeah you learned something useful. Make sure to subscribe for more, um, and yeah, see you in the next tutorial.